morning, family, and this morning I'd like to give an opportunity to my son Vernich and his wife Abby, and they're going to share with us a little bit more about anger and the importance of managing our anger in uh, in family relationships. Listen to this. Hello, and thank you for taking the time to listen um, to our section on family. Um, the verse that we have chosen to speak to you about is in Ephesians 4, verse 26. Uh, in the New International Version, it says, In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. But if we let look at another version, we can see that it says, And do not sin by letting your anger control you. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Now, personally to me, I have seen many times in not only my family, but in family of friends and other loved ones, how not being able to let go of anger, even after reconciling with someone, causes a rupture in your relationship with those people. Um, as my brother has mentioned in the previous video about um, not being able to um, share with the Lord if you are not reconciled with people, I believe that um, it is just as important um, to make sure that you fix the anger you have inside you and let go of the anger, even after that you have reconciled with your brothers and sisters. Um, I have seen how anger can consume people and how anger can cause us to not only um, treat people differently but the way we start living changes because anger what anger does is it starts turning our hearts bitter and that causes us to um, have different ways of answering different ways of speaking to people it causes disrespect towards our own brothers our parents our um, children so I encourage you that as it says, to not let your anger control you or do not sin by letting the sun go down in your anger. I think the reason God emphasized on this was that each day he would like us to go to sleep knowing that we are not leaving room for Satan to use the anger to sow something even worse into our relationships with our children, with our spouse or with our parents or any loved ones that we might have. What a powerful thought this morning. May the Lord truly help us to manage our anger um, and so that we can please God in all of our family's relationships. Let's ask Him for that. Father, thank You that You are always with us through Your Spirit to guide us and to help us uh, to manage our anger in such a way that we would do it, that it would not damage our relationships permanently but that we would do it the way that you want us to. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, bless you and tomorrow morning we'll have another devotional um, about family relationships. Mm -hmm.